stars, but they don't have that glow that, like, uh, when you look at stars, you know how you get that, that six-pointed look to them? Mm-hmm. Uh, with these things, sometimes you will, but usually you don't. They're just like a dull, like a, they don't have that sparkly look to them. It's this huge orange mass up in the sky or whatever. And so there is a difference. It's just hard uh, to explain. People are even seeing them during the day. You see them during the day? Well, uh, in some parts of the country, people are seeing them, and they'll, they'll send pictures in. And now, uh, not just furtive short viewings, but they'll see them for 20 minutes or 40 minutes at a time. Uh, large groups of people will see them. And then what, it just disappears? <laughs> yeah, uh, Mexico City, Los Angeles, San Diego. Uh, oh. There have been groups that have seen uh, persistent ones and just been stunned. And they'll call into the news stations, and they, of course the mainstream news rather ignores it, but yeah. fortunately so many people have camcorders today that many of these have been well, these things used to cloak themselves because they didn't want to be seen, but now they do. Mm-hmm. And they have said, we're going to make our presence more known on the earth. Mm-hmm. And they are. <laughs> you know, they're becoming more and more obvious. A lot of people, if they're in the presence of uh, one of these ships or, or around one of these creatures, uh, can be so overwhelmed that, uh, or, or either through their mental forces, I don't know why they can feel paralyzed. Uh, they can lose their consciousness. Yeah, and that's why, you know, what Christians don't necessarily need to be running out to see. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, if a UFO comes down to where it's menacing or low, stalking people, uh, you know, those who don't have the Lord are fair game. Yes. And those who do have the Lord, you know what it is. And and so, you know, I, I go out to be amused, but if they actually came to the point where they were getting lower level, mm-hmm. like in my face, I wouldn't be outside. No. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, in the name of Jesus, we'll, we'll stop them in their tracks as it is. So you, those that are in the Lord have the name of Yahushua. Protect them from these things. They're not friendly. No. Uh, they're not friendly beings. They're not here for the good of mankind. They're here to destroy us. And, and so people need to wade through all the lies that they're feeding through all their channelers. And they're, and they're channeling through pastors and dogma today, religions and esoteric theologies and the New Age. You know, they channel one thing and they're planning another. They're, they're telling you they want peace when they're, de- when they're planning your destruction. That's true. And I agree with you. You need to look at people's eyes and see what they tell you and uh, try to uh, get a quick sense of what, the, for lack of a better word, the force field around them is. Yeah, yeah, dead stare look I'm hearing a lot about. These eyes glazing over and they're just... And, and you know, we, we kid about that when we tell <laughs> Because we, we tell people just to ask the Lord and ask him to get that dead stare. It's a, well, this is a different one. This is a really evil <laughs> dead stare because you can tell something's totally possessing a person. Mm-hmm. And there's, it's like the lights are on, nobody's home. It's just pure evil emanating from them. Mm-hmm. And, and there's people all over the world, and I'm going to be writing an article on it this week, about this invasion that's going on. Because it's not coming. It's already here. And, and what is going to do happen first is going to be a spiritual uh, spiritual takeover, and then a lot of people who aren't the Lord's are going to be overtaken and possessed by these things. The only protection you have is the Lord. You know, people, you know, just because they don't believe in the Lord doesn't mean the Lord doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yes. And, and they're, they're Satan's on default. Ignorance belongs to Satan on default, you know, or just plain out refusal to acknowledge anything because you, you believe in something else. And just because you believe in something else doesn't mean we're wrong. The Bible's wrong, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, people want to ignore it, and they want to explain it away and explain it off. And now is not the time to go to sleep. Now is not the time to reject what the prophets have warned about for 2,000 years. You know, people can hem-haw about how things have been changed through the KJV or whatever. The message stays the same. You know, the message itself stays the same. We can argue over little intrinquities, over you know, verb tenses and adjectives and nouns or here and there. And you know what? It doesn't change the overall message in, in, of the Lord's life and his death and his coming back. It doesn't mm-hmm. change that. He's still coming back. Yes. Well, I'll get off so someone else can call in, uh, in, the, in the last uh, 15 or 20 minutes here of the show. All right. Well, thanks for calling in. And uh, it's, it's just been great talking with you. And, uh, God bless. And what's the best email to send you information on? 
Uh, Sherry underscore Shriner at Yahoo.com. Okay. Well, I will talk to you later. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah, bless. And then listener call in line, folks, 260-356-2611. You know, that's just amazing. They were, we're, we're getting confirmation of people seeing the second sun, the fact that they can see Planet X in the skies. Uh, when everyone will be able to look up in the skies and see them visibly just in your face, I don't know, like a, like a permanent fixture. It seems like it is now, but... I mean, there's still a lot of people who go out there at sunset and not see it. Some don't see it. Some do. And I guess what people are more interested in knowing is when we go out there and everybody sees it at the same time, <laughs> when it becomes a permanent fixture. And I guess there's just more to worry about when that happens than, than just now that it's not happening because we know when it, it is a permanent fixture that we're going to be in more trouble than, you know, people are bargaining for. You know, the last days are here, folks. You just had to watch for signs in the sky told us to watch for the earth being in travail. And that's what we're seeing now with, you know, both scriptures coming into play. And so people need to get familiar again with Matthew 24 and some of the, the prophets, some of the overlooked prophets, Zechariah, uh, one of the greatest overlooked prophets there was probably talking about the last days was Zechariah. Uh, like Jeremiah, chapters 50 and 51. Sherry? Yeah. <laughs> when you're ready, you have Alan on the phone. Okay, put Alan on. You're up, Alan. Hi, Sherry. How you doing? Good. How are you, Alan? Good, good. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to get on tonight. It's a busy night for you. Oh, I've enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. Very, very good show. As a matter of fact, uh, all the more reason why, uh, if you can, stay on for the two hours. Stay on for the two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. Uh, I was uh, originally going to call in on a couple of other items, but I think I'll save them till next week uh, because some of the things that were brought up tonight are uh, very interesting that I'd like to comment on. And early on in the show, uh, you brought up Hillary. And one of the things that I read about her a while back was the fact that she's a uh, grand dame in an organization called Mothers of Darkness. Yeah, you know what? I have her stuff here. But I've, I've, I've got a whole pile of information here that I just haven't even gone through this way. Yeah, yeah, so go ahead uh, and bring that up because I was going to bring it up tonight and just haven't gotten to it. Yeah, she's uh, she's right up there in the occultic uh, situation. As a matter of fact, from what I heard, uh, she's even higher in the uh, the uh, food chain, as it were, than her husband, Bill. Oh, she's higher. The only person that I even think comes near near her is George Bush Sr. Wow. Because she outranks everybody. And, and I think the only one even comparable to hers is the senior, George Bush Sr. Right. Well, I can believe that. And um, as uh, John was mentioning earlier in, in, in the phone call that he placed, uh, looking at people's eyes. Yeah. Well, you look at Hillary's eyes, and uh, they're right there. <laughs> <laughs> She's got that Omega look. And I would yeah. call it the Omega look, and that they've got this wide-eyed look like somebody's holding their eyes open with toothpicks. Exactly. Don't forget yep. to blink. Yeah. Yep. And another one was like that, too, was Tom Ridge. Yeah. And they were really funny watching, sitting together during one of the inaugurals or one of the State of the Union speeches mm -hmm. a couple of years ago. They were sitting next to each other, and it was just so funny. Because you've got this wide-eyed Megan look, and then you've got the snake lizard look, like a right. Rumsfeld. Right. So they yep. either can't even open their eyes, right. or it looks like someone's holding them open with toothpicks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's uh, that's the deal on Hillary. So if she does run in 2008, like you said, run for the hills. Because, yeah, because uh, she is so dominant in the war on the saints. Yeah. And coming yeah. after God's people. Yeah, she's she's got a lot of power. She uh, does, and and if it happens now, it would be probably behind the scenes that she's using. Right. Uh, but you know what? When I look at the codes for 2009 and 10, 11, she's just so dominant, and she actually comes up as a beast. Yes, I can believe that. Yeah, she does. She comes up, because I kept thinking, there's definitely a female beast coming.